Well, when Coach Tony Sperano delivered the news to Chad Henney that he would be benched in favor of Chad Pennington, he told Henney that the biggest reason that he wanted to create a spark, and that's something that Chad Pennington will bring to this team, has always brought to this team a level of leadership and experience that is widely respected within the locker room. So regardless of whether you agree with the decision to start Chad Pennington over Chad Henney, it's difficult to disagree with the fact that Chad Pennington is an incredible leader in that locker room. Well, I think that this is something that will have an impact on Chad Henney. This is not something that will be taken lightly by him. That said, I talked to him yesterday, and he really does genuinely believe he is an NFL starting caliber quarterback in the NFL. He does not think that his career is going to be destined for a backup role for years to come. This is a player who thinks he has the skill set, and I really do agree that he has a skill set capable of, uh, of making the types of throws that will allow him to succeed. There's a lot of complex reasons why Tony Sperano made this change. It comes with a lot of different layers. One of the aspects, though, is the fact that this offense is not necessarily clicking, and that's not all Chad Henney's fault. And I think that that's a difficult aspect of this situation to digest for a lot of fans. Chad Henney has not been terrible in his first eight starts this season. He has been efficient in a lot of different areas, but there are other areas, like his touchdown totals, like his red zone efficiency, that have not been up to par. A lot of people would like to probably see him continue to develop into the type of quarterback he could become. Tony Sperano, looking for a spark now though, really wants to see if Chad Pennington can be the guy to make the rest of this offense perform up to its potential. Now, when it comes to Chad Pennington, I think that the statistic that stands out the most is the fact that this guy is the most accurate quarterback in the history of the NFL. I mean, that goes a long way. You're talking a guy who is efficient, puts the ball in the right location to his receivers, and allows them to succeed when it comes to yards after the catch. Obviously, the con when it comes to Pennington is his arm strength. That's something that Dolphins really expected Chad Henney to provide a different dynamic for this offense. Uh, but they're not really utilizing Chad Henney's arm strength anyway, so maybe this will allow the team to be more efficient, although you still aren't going to have the same deep threat that you might have either way. As soon as Brandon Marshall arrived in South Florida, he developed a relationship with Chad Pennington that has resonated since. He has a huge amount of respect for Pennington's knowledge of the game. These two worked out together at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in the offseason with Pennington's trainer, Charles Patrone. And as a result, they really did develop a quick bond. Now, uh, that's not to say that Brandon Marshall and Chad Henney didn't get along. They also had developed a relationship themselves, but I think Brandon Marshall really looks at Chad Pennington as someone who has the leadership ability and, uh, and the experience to really put him in a very good position to succeed. But as I've said, there are a lot of different layers to this, and one of those is the fact that Chad Henney's first eight games came against six opponents that were in the playoffs last year. The perceived softer aspect of the schedule was not until the later half that now Chad Pennington will be starting through. So he is in a very good position to come out of this thing better than Chad Henney did, regardless of his talent or ability. So I think that Chad Pennington is in a very good situation right now in his role as a starting quarterback for this team. And it will be interesting to see if he is able to lead this team to the playoffs and more importantly, beyond.